welcome back. When it comes to our health, we have plenty to think about this fall. We have to stay safe from COVID-19, make sure we get that annual wellness visit, and of course, get a flu shot. And this morning, we have medical director for Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana and friend of the show, Dr. Jeremy Whittington. He's here to talk about everything we need to think about this fall. Dr. Jeremy, welcome back to the show. Great. Thanks for having me. It's a, it's a perfect time to talk about all of those things. So I appreciate it. It really is for sure. Let's first get started with flu shots. We all need to get a flu shot. When should people get a flu shot? So right now, it really is the best time to get the flu shot. Um, we typically recommend the uh, majority of people uh, to start really getting serious about the flu shot in October. So we're coming up on the holidays. The peak of the flu season is usually around February. So right now is the absolute best time uh, to get that flu shot. So you're not too late. You're just on time. So definitely look for uh, that flu shot either at your primary care physician's office, at a pharmacy, uh, really anywhere that's offering that shot. Agreed. And you're seeing right here who should get the flu vaccine. Everyone ages six months or older needs to get a yearly flu shot? Absolutely. So uh, not to uh, forget about our kids. So uh, infants that are six months uh, of age can get the flu shot then all age children and all adults. So anyone who's six months or older should get that yearly flu shot. That's really important for pregnant women, especially those younger children uh, closer to six months and older adults, uh, 60 or older, and anybody with a long-term health condition like diabetes, uh, heart conditions, really any of those things, really make sure that uh, you're thinking about that flu shot. And most health plans, including Medicare plans, commercial plans, cover the flu shot at low or zero dollar out of pocket costs for you. So definitely uh, check it out. Which is great. And I know for me, a lot more places are offering the flu shot. Like I was at the gym the other day mm -hmm. and my gym was administering flu shots outside socially distanced. So a lot more places are getting in on this train of giving flu shots and giving access, which is great because we all know we're going through a COVID-19 pandemic right now. And now it's flu season peak is in February, but really October, we're starting to see things as well. But for a lot of people, I have some friends who are like this, and I was like this before I got the flu shot here on Great Day, Louisiana. I always was thinking that when someone gives me the flu shot, I might get the flu because of it. True or false? Can we decompress that a little bit? Absolutely. Luckily, that's completely false. So no matter where you get the flu shot, if you go to one of those offering it, or if you go to the pharmacy, your doctor's office, doesn't matter. All the flu shots are equivalent. They cannot give you the flu. They are not the active flu virus. They are essentially pieces of the proteins that make up the virus that trick your immune system into thinking you've been exposed to the flu. So you may feel some things like fatigue, maybe a slight headache, some pain at the site where you got the injection. Uh, some kids can run a little bit of a low-grade fever after a shot, again, because it activates your immune system. So that uh, shot cannot cause you get the flu. It is completely impossible for the uh, flu shot to give you the actual flu. It's deactivated, which is really good. And I agree with a little bit of stiffness, a little bit of pain. I got it again here on the show. And I did feel a little bit of stiffness in my arm, but it went away in about 24 hours, which is good because the flu shot, again, is still the most effective way of not getting the flu. Because like I said earlier, we're in this COVID-19 pandemic. Let's go through some of those precautions. Again, for people who have the flu shot, we still should be taking precautions when it comes to COVID-19, wearing your mask. And we have one tip here that we found really interesting, avoid sneezing or coughing into bare hands or your face mask. Why should we do that? Because it's difficult, you know? It absolutely is, of course. And, we, and sometimes we do it without even thinking about it. But essentially, if you cough into your bare hands or if you cough or actively sneeze into a mask that is on your face, um, it increases your chances of transmitting it to somebody else um, if you were to have the virus. So if you cough into your bare hands without realizing it, get your hands clean as quickly as possible, 60% alcohol, hand sanitizer, or good old soap and water. If you do, uh, if you're in a crowded place and you have your mask on and you have to cough or sneeze and you end up coughing or sneezing into your face mask, if it's a reusable mask, make sure you get it washed as soon as possible, get it clean. 
or if it's a disposable, make sure you change that mask. Really the best thing to do is if you feel like you got a sneeze and you're in a crowd of people where you got a mask on, uh, try to leave the area so that you can uh, either get a hold of a tissue um, or again, sneeze into the upper part of your sleeve up here um, so that you can uh, keep that away from your mouth and face. Um, and, and again, if you do sneeze or cough into the mask or into your bare hands, uh, just get that area clean uh, because that can spray particles all over your face and uh, all over your hands. So make sure you get that uh, taken care of if you do. Very important tip right there. Now, on top of all of these precautions, as well as getting your flu shot, it's important to also get your annual health visit. I just got mine. Doctor, why is it so important that we make sure we get an annual health visit? Getting in that annual health visit is because we don't want anything else to be added to our plate. So making sure that all the rest of your health is in order, uh, getting that annual visit done, making sure that all your routine health is taken care of, especially if you have diabetes, again, heart disease, any of those chronic medical conditions, and you've had to defer care because of the pandemic, make sure that you get a checkup done so that you can get all your needs taken care of. Just because we have COVID and flu does not mean you can't get other health conditions. Uh, and can't have other problems. So we wanna make sure we keep in mind that uh, everything is still going on. We will make sure we are uh, completely taken care of um, while we try to avoid the flu and COVID. Very important. I got my flu shot and I did my annual health visit. I got it, you need to get it as well. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And hey, for more information about your health and how to take care of your health during this fall, you can log on to bcbsla.com slash keep up with care.